hey guys in this video we are going to talk about python installation and we will write a small python program as well so without any further delay let's start so you need to go to python.org slash downloads here you will see a button download python you just need to click on this and it will download an exe file for your windows machine uh, which will be used for python installation now execute the downloaded file to start the installation process here in the screen you can see there are two check boxes one is already checked the other one is to add python 3.10 to the path so path is a variable which will be used by windows operating system uh, to check for the binaries while executing any command this process step can be done manually also but it is better if we can do it from the ui here it's also so just click on uh, check on uh, this checkbox and click on install now so this will start installing the python 3.10.2 on your system you will get this screen once installation is complete now to verify whether the path has been set properly or not just open the command prompt and type this command python space hyphen hyphen version this will give you the current version which you have currently installed and which will be used for uh, coding purpose now let's write our first hello world program in python if you are aware about the other programming languages like java then you know that uh, just to print one statement you need to write so many lines for example if i sh show you this to print a simple hello world on the screen or console you need to write all these lines you need to create class then create function provide all the uh, required variables then then write system.out.println and the string you want to print but in case of python it is very simple first you just need to write a command python and press enter it will go to the python prompt or python interpreter where you can write the python code now here you can see now we have moved to the python part now here if i just want to print hello world what i will do i will write print hello world and that's it i don't even need a semicolon and you can see hello world is printed that's it that is all the things are required to just print a single statement unlike other programming languages where too much code is required so we can write multiple statements as well uh, if this is an interpreter so uh, let us write a, a program to add two specific numbers so suppose we have a which is equal to 5 then we have b which is equal to 8 now we want to introduce the third variable also which is sum which should be equal to a plus b now i have written all these three statements and now what i want to do i want to print the uh, value of sum it should be uh, 13 so what i will do print sum and enter and here you can see the sum of a5 and b8 13 is printed now let's just talk about why do we need python because we already have so many languages already available we have java which is most widely used which was most widely used uh, before python uh, but uh, python has recently emerged as a top programming language and there are many reasons for that python is very simple general purpose and high level object oriented programming it is an interpreted as well as scripting language so we can write scripts using this language also so it is currently the most popular and most widely used programming languages because of its feature like it is easy to use and learn it is completely object oriented everything in python is in the form of objects if i write these lines here these lines are also converted into objects in the back end by the interpreter it is open source language it is extensible it also has a gui graphical user interface programming support also we have a uh, ide named as pycharm which we will be uh, using in our next tutorials to write the programs it is embeddable uh, dynamic memory allocation is there and the main reason for this uh, language to grow very drastically is wide range of libraries and frameworks that it supports it's an open source and the number of libraries it supports is huge 
Python is mainly used in the fields of data science, data mining, desktop application, console based applications, mobile applications and many more enterprise applications as well. In our next tutorials, we will learn more about the variables, data types and all other basic essential components of Python. If you like the video, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you won't miss any new technical tutorials. It can be of Python, Java and I will be starting some other technology video tutorials as well. Thank you very much.